As I mentioned in the previous video, stacking is possibly the most common strategy used in MLB DFS tournament contests. If you want to win a large tournament, your best bet is to employ this strategy. At this point, you're probably asking the first question most of us have asked in our lives, why? There are several reasons why stacking can give you an advantage, but two main reasons carry more weight than the others. First of all, it allows you to take advantage of bad pitching. One thing stacking allows you to do is select multiple batters that are going to be facing off against a bad pitcher. Bad pitchers give up more hits and runs, which results in more fantasy points. So it should be obvious why this is a good reason to consider stacking, but it goes even further than that. If a pitcher starts a game by giving up a lot of hits and runs in the first few innings, his pitch count gets too high early in the game. This usually leads to that team going to the bullpen to use relief pitchers a couple innings before they intended. On top of that, if they're already down by several runs, they probably won't be using their best relievers. So if you stack four players in your lineup going against the starting pitcher that performed poorly, gave up a lot of runs, and got replaced early, your lineup is likely to see two main benefits. Before we jump into those two benefits though, if you are getting value out of this video so far, smash that like button down below, hit that subscribe button while you're down there too. Now back to those two reasons. First one is that the players in your lineup were likely a part of the fun against that starting pitcher. This means that they likely racked up a few hits, RBI, runs, or stolen bases just in their first two to three plate appearances. So you already have a good chunk of fantasy points with a lot of game left to play. And the second reason, when a team is down by several runs early and has to replace their starter in the third or fourth inning, they usually don't put in their best bullpen pitchers. If this is the case, your players that you stack go from seeing a bad starting pitcher to bad relieving pitchers. So you get even more opportunity for high fantasy scores in late innings. It really snowballs in your favor. In the next video, we'll talk about the other big reason why stacking is a good strategy. Then we'll start diving into some of the other small reasons as well. If you do want to play along and enter some FanDuel lineups of your own, you can use my FanDuel referral link down in the video description below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon down there too, so you can follow along as we build this MLB DFS optimizer in the weeks and months to come. See you next time.